everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and this is going to be the third review of the Red Queen series. This one is on King's Cage. I finished it yesterday. Oh, I can't wait for May for the next book. So, King's Cage is the third installment in the Red Queen series and I thought it was the last one but there's a fourth one coming called War Storm. Yeah, War Storm. But basically in this book, this is a spoiler review as well, so if you haven't read King's Cage, please don't read, like, watch this video because it's going to be spoilers. But basically, in this book, Mare is still captured. So, Mare has been captured by Maven and she is living in the castle, or whatever it is, like, the palace, and she's being captured. She is being treated like a dog, she's got, um, big, ma they call manacles on her wrists and her ankles, which are just, like, cutting off her power. She is hardly fed, she's not taken outside. She's basically a pet and she's got shown around to all like the country and how she's been brainwashed by the Scarlet Guard and everything and she's just basically been shown that she was brainwashed but Maven's got control over her and I felt so, so sorry for Mare in this book. Like, you can just tell from the start to the end how much she's like being hurt and traumatized. Like in the end, someone even just touching her wrist, it made her flash back to when she had these big manacles on her wrist that were weighing her down and everything like that. And it's I gained a lot more respect to her as a character. I did find her quite annoying in Red Queen, as I've previously said, but in this one I gained a lot more respect for her with her resilience and her just constant like observations of everything and finding ways that you know she could sneak out, different ways that she could um, leave the castle when there's a breaking guard changing and stuff like that. But in this book, something I didn't expect that would happen was me to feel sorry for Maven. Now, in in Glass Sword, I had a brain what, blank then. In Glass Sword, Maven turns into an absolute psychopath, and I hated him. But in this one, I just felt sorry for him. Like you could tell that he wanted Mare around because he still loved her, and there was a part of him that. Mare made him feel human again and not like a monster. And the scene in particular where Maven's in the bath and Mare is sitting in there like talking to him. And Maven, Maven's explaining how the reason why he doesn't want her to go is because he loves her too much and without her he doesn't feel like his old self. And I just, my heart kind of broke for Maven because in the first book I was all about him and Mare. Like I loved them two together and then when the plot twist that he was actually working against her came out I just, oh. So I really felt sorry for Maven, but then when her Mare and Cal started getting it on, woohoo, Mare and Cal, and then they broke up. Well, not really broke up. Cal chose the crown over Mare. And I just love this book. I loved the introduction of all the new characters, such as um, Cal's grandmother and all the different kind of um, the Lakelanders and the people that, like, were on the Scarlet Guide, the Scarlet Guides, the Scarlet Guard side, and I really enjoy this one. I'm really interested to see how Warstorm is going to go and where where Mary's story is going to be. Is she going to end up being in the palace? Is she going to be on the throne? Is she going to go back to her life in the stilts? I have no idea. Is Maven going to die? Is Cal going to die? I don't know. I'm so excited, but I absolutely love this book. I think this is probably I enjoy this the most out of all three books, to be honest. So, and I actually love the front cover. It looks, I personally think it looks like Bones. And it kind of made me think of the city, like the arena. They do the arena of Bones. But I'm going to do a close up. Does that, does that not look like Bones? Like, that looks like a hip. I don't know. I just thought when I first saw this cover that the crown looked like Bones. That's just my little observation. I'm going to give this book a four and a half out of five. There's little bits I didn't like, but four and a half. So if you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you all next week. Bye.